Hey everybody, welcome to my carving shed. My name is Hunter. Today we are going to be making some deer antler rings. Really excited. You can do a lot of things with these. Uh, this video is just going to be making a simple ring without a lathe. You don't need a lathe, um, but we're going to kind of uh, cheat and kind of make one out of a drill. So stick around. The second video, which is in addition to this, is on inlay. So we're going to inlay some copper and maybe some turquoise. I'm going to show you how to do that. But for this video, let's just make a simple ring out of antler. Okie dokie, so you are going to need antler, obviously. Um, if you don't have any, you can pick some up. You can search on Craigslist. You can go to a pet store. Um, generally, they will have antler for dog chews, so you can use that. Um, you can use more than just a whitetail deer antler. Um, you can use elk, fallow deer. The point is that um, the antler does have a, like a spongy inside which would be where the marrow would go because an antler is bone, actually. And then it's gonna have a kind of a more dense, harder outer layer. And you're gonna to want to make the ring out of that hard out, outer layer. So just pick a spot on the antler where it's just, uh, just a little bit thicker, give you enough room than your finger to work with. Um, generally speaking, it's not gonna be a complete circle. So what I will do is I'll cut out a piece then I'll put uh, my ring over it if it's for myself, uh, just to make sure that I have the correct uh, diameter, the, you know, the shape and everything is correct to work with. Simply cut out a piece of antler just maybe a little bit wider than what you would like the finished ring to be. We're going to sand it down smooth, uh, so you're going to want to have some leeway. But um, first of all, wear a respirator. Um, bone dust, this is bone again, uh, can be very harmful to your lungs. Uh, it is carcinogenic, I believe that's the correct word. Uh, so you can get cancer in your lungs from um, breathing in the bone dust. So please, please, please wear a respirator while you are working with the antler. Okay, now that we have the uh, kind of the ring blank cut out, simply get a drill, get, um, I had, I picked up uh, a 3 8 inch bit, drill it through the antler blank, and then Get yourself a rod, it can be wood, it can be metal, whatever, just get yourself a rod and that's the same diameter as your drill bit, okay? This way, you can pop that rod, uh, the dowel, into that hole that you've drilled out, it'll be nice and snug, and then that's what we're gonna use for our mini lathe to turn the antler. Now, like I said earlier, what I will do is I'll uh, take a ring and put it over top of that blank and kind of trace out the rough area where it's gonna be. Um, I will then take uh, my Dremel uh, with the sanding drum and sand out the roughed shape. That way it'll save you uh, some time on sanding down uh, on your little lathe. Then simply take your sanding drum and just start sanding down the, uh, the ring until it, uh, it gets, you know, circular, circular enough and to about the shape that you want. Then you're going to move on to sanding. Uh, I start with a 120 grit, 220, 320, 400, and then I jump up to a 2000 grit sandpaper. Once you get to the uh, about 2000 grit sandpaper, you're going to already uh, see like it, it makes a very, very uh, high sheen shine on that antler already. But then I will take um, a piece of leather or you can use steel wool even to uh, make the polish. I do put just a tad bit of uh, finishing wax on there just to make the shine a little bit better, but it's really not necessary. Once it's all polished up, take it off the dowel and then use a sanding drum and uh, hollow out the inside of that ring up until it is about the size that you want it where it fits onto your finger or the correct size that you're looking for. And then um, I just take maybe a, a 320 grit sandpaper, just run it around the inside of that ring to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then, voila guys, you have a polished 
uh, deer antler ring. Okay, a couple things really quickly. Um, if you want a lighter shade of the antler, you can soak it in 3% hydrogen peroxide for about uh, two or three days. That will lighten up the ring quite a bit. Um, you can just get the stuff that you would normally get at like a, a drugstore or Walmart. Uh, second thing is, is it durable? I, it is pretty darn durable. Um, I wore this one right here in the middle for several months doing everything you see me here see me do here in the shed uh, never broke uh, still still in great shape so they are pretty darn durable um, I mean it is antler if you whack it with a hammer of course it's gonna break but um, yeah it, it's pretty darn um, durable and then does it smell while you are uh, working on the antler yes just imagine going to the dentist and you're getting your tooth drilled you can smell that that's kind of what it smells like but again wear a respirator uh, that way you're not even getting any of that in your lungs whatsoever. So I hope you all like that. Um, do let me know how it goes if you make a ring. Please tag me, send me a picture. Um, I would love to see what you guys create. And as I said earlier, if you want to take uh, your rings to the next level by doing an inlay uh, like these rings here, uh, I do have another video. I will leave a link in the description of this video to check that out. Uh, you can do some really cool stuff with again, copper, turquoise, stuff like that. Um, and there'll be another little link at the end of this video as well. Okie dokie guys, thanks for watching. Thanks again everybody for watching. I just wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by myself, uh, US Skull Hunter. So I have a new website up, www.usskullhunter.com. I have a couple things on there including carved replica deer skulls to mount your antlers on. I have uh, a bunch of information on skull carving, uh, the tools I use, there's free designs there for you to practice with, a bunch of information on that and also have uh, merchandise, finally. So if you've been watching for a while and you would like some, uh, some merch, some swag, uh, feel free to check that out. Uh, make a couple dollars off of each of those shirts, hats, decals. Uh, so that is a great way for you to support me if you would like. Uh, so thanks again for watching and I hope you guys are doing great.